Divided Republicans are trying to unite behind a new U.S. House of Representatives speaker. And the man who's hoping to get the Republican nomination for next year's presidential elections, Donald Trump, has put his weight behind Jim Jordan. Trump took to his truth social platform to say that Jordan will be a great speaker of the House and has his complete and total endorsement. But hours before this vote of confidence, Trump himself had offered to temporarily take up the role of Speaker of the House. The position has been vacant after Kevin McCarthy was ousted in a historic rebellion by the far-right Republicans. Chaos is Speaker McCarthy. Chaos is somebody who we cannot trust with their word. The one thing that the White House, House Democrats, and many of us on the conservative side of the Republican caucus would argue is that the thing we have in common, Kevin McCarthy said something to all of us at one point or another that he didn't really mean and never intended to live up to. 59-year-old Jim Jordan is one of the most polarizing figures in Washington. He has been spearheading an impeachment investigation against President Joe Biden. He has also been a vocal skeptic of U.S. funding to Ukraine. What about Ukraine? Are you, what, are you willing to move forward with an aid package for Ukraine if you're speaking? I'm, I'm, I'm against that. Uh, what I understand is at some point we're going to have to deal with this appropriation process in the right way. And we're going to try to do that in the next, what are we down to, 41 days. Um, the most pressing issue on Americans' minds is not Ukraine. What would you it is the border situation and it is crime on the streets. And everybody knows that. So let's address those. If the Senate wants to send us something on other issues, that's, that's their the government. If he wins, Jordan is expected to bring in a new period of fierce combat with the White House. But Jim Jordan's candidacy and a Trump endorsement is likely to alarm more moderate Republicans than actually unite them. Jordan is running against Republican House Majority Leader Steve Scalise of Louisiana for the top job. Scalise survived a 2017 shooting at a congressional baseball practice and has recently been treated for blood cancer and is very popular. Somebody's got to take the reins and say, we're going to address the problems facing this country. But the Republican Party is so divided that it's not certain that either Jordan or Scalise could reach the 218 votes needed to become a speaker. Trump claims he will do whatever it is to help Republicans in the speaker race, but he is focused totally on his presidential campaign. Who should be speaker? Who should be speaker, Mr. President? Uh, a lot of people have been calling me about speaker. All I can say is we'll do whatever is best for the country and for the Republican would, Party. Would you take the job? Great people. Would you take the job? Say, we have some great, great people. Would you take the job? A lot of people have asked me about it. I'm focused. You know, we're leading. I don't know you. I'm sure you don't read too much in the papers. But we're leading by like 50 points for president. You know, my focus is totally on that. If I can help them during the process, I would do it. But we have some great people in the Republican Party that could do a great job as speaker. But well, what about you? Marjorie Taylor Greene called for you to be speaker yesterday. Did you accept? I think she's a wonderful woman, Marjorie. And a lot of other people called for that, too. I'll do whatever it is to help. But my focus, my total focus, is being president and, quite honestly, making America great again. Because we are living in a country in decline. This is a country that's failing badly. We're not respected in the world. Interest rates are through the roof, taxes are through the roof, inflation is horrible, what it's done to us, it's eating us alive. Energy is now over $5. I was at $1.87, it's over $5. What's happened to our country with Afghanistan, that horrible removal, the most embarrassing moment, I think, in our country's history. So, I'm running for president, I'm up by 40 and 50 points and more, in some cases. But whatever I can do to help with regard to speaker is good. By the way, I'm also leading Biden by a lot. If I wasn't, I wouldn't have trials like this. Thank you very much. By diving into the mayhem, Trump may be trying to cast himself as kingmaker in the House Speaker fight and attempting to steal the spotlight.